This project is really unique, really cool project because we're able to watch these sea lions without having to put people in the field. This study has been going on since the fall of 98 and it's been a continuous project for uh, almost 25 years now. And watching them year after year, day after day, uh, throughout the years, uh, we've learned a heck of a lot about these animals. We were able to see changes that you might not necessarily see over one, two, or even three years of study. By watching them over the long term, we've seen that they have been doing very well for more than a decade. Good reproductive rates, great survival rates. Then all of a sudden, in 2015, 2016, when this warm water anomaly hit the coast of Alaska here, total, totally different. Low reproductive rates, low survival rates. Things went bad, and it wasn't just for the sea lions out there. It was affecting humpback whales, seals, other pinnipeds, uh, seabirds especially. It saw the biggest seabird die off that many of us have ever seen along the coast here. We really learned a lot about how sea lions especially respond to uh, such an environmental insult. You know for sure over the long term that um, the ocean is warming and so just recently been learning a lot about how the long term trends in ocean warming might affect this species.